Hey guys and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and today is the first day that we are heading out uh, on the promised adventure and we planned that thing for about uh, two months. Uh, that's gonna be a last ride of this season I think uh, for a major ride as you see it's getting cooler We got a little bit of frost uh, this morning as well So I hope the weather is gonna be on our side, but uh, I just look up the forecast in that area that we're going It uh, might be a little bit of rain uh, uh, Heading our way as well. We are heading to Gray Creek. So that's uh, gonna be mostly off-road uh, So here from Alberta Calgary uh, we're heading to BC and after after that, uh, we'll hit the Kimberley and uh, possibly Caslo in British Columbia. So I'm just waiting here for my buddy. Uh, he's supposed to meet me here at this way station. And uh, I weighed my bike just now and uh, I'm sitting at uh, 440 kilograms. You know, like uh, it's a little bit cooler weather, so you gotta have a little bit more stuff with you. Be mostly off-road, and uh, right, right now uh, I'm meeting with my buddy, and then uh, we're heading out to Black Diamond for coffee at Tim Horton to meet another buddy, and they're both riding a BMW 1200 GSA. And uh, I'm the only one on Africa Twin. Let's see how the trip is gonna go, and join me on this adventure, and make sure to hit the like button on this video and uh, subscribe to the channel it doesn't look that heavy but for some reason i'm not sitting at 140 kilograms and she's fully packed up uh, camping gear food and all the necessities uh, for those few days uh, in the back i always carry my fuel i'm hoping to get uh, just to the other side to highway 3 and that's why I carry the jerry can because you never know uh, how much fuel we're gonna use and she's gonna get messy today I think uh, we will be on the gravel and dirt so I like when she's looking clean but at the same time it's so much fun when she's getting messy and it's fine to wash her again it's fun to wash her again ja. <laughs> It's a quarter to nine. Uh, we are 15 minutes earlier than uh, we're supposed to be here yeah. in uh, Black Diamond, and uh, we are just approaching the meeting area at Tim Horton. The greatest Canadian coffee. Some people can call it. Some people prefer Starbucks. For me, I stick to Tim Hortons or even McDonald's. I'm not a fan of Starbucks coffee. Well, looks like our buddy is not here. He's uh, coming from a little bit further, from Springbank, I believe. So yeah, we're gonna have some coffee. Oh, look at that, who's here? Heading out. Tom is already loaded. Everybody's got fuel. We're uh, heading out uh, on our Grey Creek adventure. So we just left Longview. That's the last town before we hit uh, Crownland and Trunk Roads heading towards Grey Creek. The goal is uh, today to go through uh, the whole section all the way to Frank Slide and possibly we might be able even to get to Grey Creek area. It all depends how many stops on the way and uh, we're not gonna be in a rush because we have a lot of time and technically we don't have a lot of uh, kilometers to cover. Uh, we will be probably doing about uh, at, at its best maybe 300 kilometers in a day and we have four days uh, to cover over a thousand kilometers that's a round trip uh, hopefully the sun is gonna go higher pretty soon because it's ruining the footage riding against it it's, it is getting cloudy over the mountains hopefully we get the most uh, 
will cover the most before that rain is going to come down. It's coming from the west. And uh, I looked on the radar this morning. There was a pretty cloud, pretty big cloud actually coming this way. So it's coming from southwest. The rain is expected in some areas. We might hit like uh, 25 millimeters. Uh, let's. There's a chance it's going to change because ever. If you're ever in the mountains, the, temper the temperature and weather condition can pretty much, much change over hour. I've seen that before happening, so you never know. And this is the field uh, where I stopped last time to fly my drone. Uh, the, the farmers were here and uh, they let me film this area. But the weather was uh, much clearer than today. It was nice blue skies and uh, it was pretty hot actually so it begins we made it on that uh, gravel road And now the torture in the dust begins. Not a fan of that dust, but what can you do? Oh, there we got the cow and the cow shit everywhere. My God, and this is ridiculous. Yeah, sure, right now, that's a good point to come out right now and cross the road, seriously. Move. Yeah, that's expected on this road. Cows are everywhere. And there's shit everywhere too. Oh, they're all staring at us, like, come on, move! Don't go now. Seriously. You little piece of shit. They waiting like crazy and then they decided to go. They waiting for you to approach and then they moving. Like what the hell is that? Few years of, li of life and then it's going for a steak. Now another one. Watch. Exactly the same story. Seriously. Are you that stupid or what? How many cows do they have in here? I went here last time I didn't see them. There was a few but not in uh, hundreds. There's like they everywhere and those little guys are so stupid. The, the, the old ones are not too bad but those little guys are morons. Oh, I guess we won't be burning fire. Starting to get to get some views finally. Where did Robert go? How far away is he? He really took off. Holy crap! Why am I hitting that shoulder? Hit the soft patch on the side. But the, at least the wind died off, so it's not windy anymore. Now, that's a real adventure. Forget the road, forget the tarmac. And quite decent view on top. Ooh, what was that? What the hell is this? Why 
why is it so rough? I think my suspension may be cranked up too hard. I gotta put it back a couple clicks next time we stop. Okay, that's not cow. Those are mountain goats. Hey boys. Hey boys. What? Yeah. Lots of fish are there. Huh? What did you do? Robert, it's true. Okay. Yeah, it's leaking. <laughs> it's pretty rough, no? Yeah? What's that? It's pretty rough. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it's a rough road here. Kurwa. Te stretches co nie ma tego sietu w tej mąki to są way better. Kurwa, kasku nie mogę na rosterku powiesić, bo się zsuwa. <laughs> well, I'm hoping uh, Dutch Creek to Elkford will be better. Ja nie sikaj pod wiatr, Tomek. Nie, właśnie dobrze, że wieje, bo, wie, bo kurz zdmuchuje, no. no. Nie właśnie mówię, czy kurz wieje bardzo. O trochę się kurzy, wiesz, zależy, zależy gdzie, nie? Ale jest, no cóż, po to, po to jest dirt road, żeby się kurzyła. No, it's a hunting, it's a bow season that started, yeah? Check out this view, boys. Who's the brave to go down? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Guinea pig. <laughs> No co ja będę trzymał? O, 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 on jest na biegu. Za powoli wziąłem tutaj zakręt. Ja. Tak, a możecie go przytrzymać, bo tu nie mogę nóżki wyciągnąć, bo jest na górce. Okay, thank you. Okay, that was something. Well, that was the first fall. Oh! I took that turn way too slow, and that's what led to dropping the bike. 
and that was like a 90 degree tour uphill I should have been standing I thought I gonna make it but I it didn't it didn't work as I expected shit happens not the first not the last I'll be picking that dust out of my mouth for the next three days after this like last time my teeth were grinding with a fine sand natural teeth whitening so according to the GPS uh, we should be on a first stretch of our adventure today uh, around four o'clock but that's uh, I'm assuming that's steady driving I don't think that's gonna happen because we are we will be stopping a few times here and there too many nice things to see on the way I wouldn't want to just miss it all and just zoom it through this because uh, the scenery uh, should reveal quite spectacular views more cows the cows are like literally everywhere we've been on, on here for how many kilometers now and uh, the cows continue everywhere you look along the road Livingstone River and somebody is camping on Crown Land for free having good time that's, that's probably the last bits of it because I don't think this is accessible once uh, with the snow comes down I wish I could see my body in the back I don't think I do too much dust No, 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 That's pretty steep uphill. Let's give her. That's a pretty, pretty tough incline. As a first time on this stretch, I did the other stretches before of this logging road, but uh, I have never been here. Uh, Robert actually went here through there before. Uh, for me, it's a first timer. More cows. Wow. Check this out, this is just ridiculous. Couldn't be any more traffic. Okay, I've been in a dusty conditions, but this is beyond normal. How long are we gonna drive in this crap? So that was a... Uh, Kananaski's fire base We are lucky enough this year that we don't have too many forest fires here in Alberta Last two years Last two previous years we had quite a few of them But uh, this year everything is burning in uh, Oregon and California We had a couple smaller fires in uh, British Columbia But uh, nothing as extreme as what's going on right now in California and Oregon good thing I took a shower this morning <laughs> for what after I'm through this my hair is gonna be like uh, concrete I think we are here right now uh, Dutch Creek and uh, we're trying to cross over to British Columbia through here I guess and continue on into summer here, which is Elkford.
we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I lost all of my oil in my front shock. Uh, I'm bouncing a lot, but uh, you know, so far the bike stays manageable on the road, so I think we're gonna be okay. We'll see. That gravel is very unpredictable. You hit that uh, soft patch or something, so it's scooped in one place. <laughs> and you are all over the road at that point. I wonder how far is Robert? How far did he go? Because I had to turn around because I lost my body that's behind me. I thought something happened, but uh, we actually missed the turn uh, that we supposed that we've added to our trip. And I guess this is not gonna happen now because the other guy in front, uh, he's going a little bit too fast and uh, I don't know even how far away he is from us at this point. Oh yeah, yeah, another patch. So that was it for my clean bike. Not so clean anymore. <laughs> Look at your bag. And that's supposed to go into the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is falling apart, it's not a Harley. No chodźcie, dajcie mleka trochę świeżego. Paki, dzwoneczek ma na szyi fajny. Następny kurzak jedzie. this pass and maybe another kilometer in front of us so this is uh, we might uh, stop here for a bite to eat so we did uh, so far over a hundred kilometers off-road and yeah we're dirty we're filthy and still more to go so this trip here, it's, that's the real adventure. So Highway 3 is just down there. Oh, finally I can see something. I got a decent view. No cloud of dust in front of me. Looks like we're coming for Subway. Tomek, wydmucha wiatr, jak będziesz jechać teraz szybko. Pod koniec dnia wyczyścimy i tak się upieprzą.